Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna look at the Boba Fett Loungefly backpack, but more importantly, we're gonna look at these symbols. What do they mean? We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. May the force be with you. I'm so glad to see you guys. I hope you're having a great week. Uh, my wife and I, we are going to Walt Disney World in about a month or so. And uh, she wanted a lounge fly backpack because come on, they're awesome. And uh, she said, I might as well get a Boba Fett one because of my love for Boba Fett. What a great wife, right? And so uh, her backpack arrived the other week and thought I would walk you through some of the features if you didn't already know, but I'm sure you do. These are insanely popular. But more importantly, looking at some of these symbols and helping you uh, know what they mean. So it really doesn't matter if you have this backpack or not, just if you're a lover of Star Wars or all things the Fett, <laughs> I thought we'd walk you through these symbols and let you know what they mean. So you can talk about them uh, when you're at the parks or when you're out and about, somebody asks you, hey, what does that mean? You can sound like a Boba Fett expert just by having watched this video. Sound cool? Just looking at the outside, some of the features, of course, it's all done in Boba Fett's colors. Uh, you got a little plate, a little metal plate on this side that says it's from Loungefly. On this side, there's one of the symbols we're gonna talk about. Here's your straps on the back, and it says, he's no good to me dead, which is Boba Fett's famous line from the film. Uh, you only have two main pockets on these, two uh, nice strong zippers here, but you have a wide, deep pocket there and there's a little sub pocket inside the pocket right here. That's probably for your phone, if you can't see it. Uh, there's a phone pocket or a, a, a wallet pocket right up there at the top. And the liner says Boba Fett, which is pretty cool. I think I've seen one that has a different liner, so I'm not sure about that one. So here's that same uh, symbol that we're gonna look at, and then a front uh, little wallet pocket there. All around, uh, these are really fun backpacks, super collectible. I'm sure you've got one or two. And let me just say, they're not just for girls anymore. They used to be something that uh, you'd only see girls wear, but now you see the guys wearing them too because, well, it's Star Wars and come on, how fun is that? All right, so let's talk about the symbols. And really, there's only a couple here. Uh, this main symbol that you see on the front, this is just Boba Fett's chest plate. Uh, same as you'd see right here. And of course, this is his T-visor. This would be his mask, right? But the first symbol we're gonna look at is these little yellow stripes that are right up here at the top. And if we were gonna switch over to his helmet, see here's the T-visor, uh, you'd see those yellow stripes right there as well. And those are called the kill stripes, okay? Those are called the kill stripes. Um, if you were explaining this to another adult, I'm sure that'd be fine. You know, if you were standing in line for a ride, uh, you could explain it. Uh, if you were explaining it to a little kid, um, I don't know what you'd say. You'd say, you know, these represent all the different uh, bad guys that Boba Fett has caught for the Empire. Maybe you could say it like that, but uh, the yellow stripes, those are the kill stripes. Moving on to my favorite, my all-time favorite Boba Fett symbol is uh, this right here. This is the symbol of the journeyman protector. Now, sometimes we say journeyman protector, sometimes we only say journeyman. It's the symbol, it's the journeyman symbol. Uh, I have this same exact symbol on my pickup truck so that people who are behind me can see I'm, I'm on Team Fett. And this is a symbol of a We'll call it a law enforcement agency that uh, Concord Dawn is in charge of. And each journeyman protector is responsible for like an area of space or a planet. Okay. And Boba Fett was one of those. And so that is why he wears the journeyman protector logo. And lastly, in three different places on this backpack, you're going to have the Mythosaur skull. So you'll have it right here on the zipper. You'll have the more familiar traditional logo here on the side in red as a patch. And then you also have it again on the back in the He's No Good To Me Dead uh, logo. So the Mythosaur is kind of like a large dragon, okay? It's a big lizard that lives on Mandalore. And so uh, having that on your armor is just kind of a symbol of 
representing, right? Representing Mandalore. And it became to represent Mandalore as a whole. And so those are your three symbols. I just want you to kind of know what they were, right? So we have the kill stripes, we have the journeyman protector, and we have the mythosaur skull. All right, so what do you think about the lounge fly backpacks? Do you have one? Does your wife have one? Do you collect them? Which one is your favorite? Just saw a new one that came out that has all the Star Wars princesses on it. That was pretty cool. I showed that to my wife and I was like, maybe you need, maybe you need two. Maybe, maybe I need this one, right? Maybe I need this one. And my wife needs one that's a little bit more girly. I don't think I'm gonna convince her. I, I really don't. And if you're wondering why in the world I reviewed a lounge fly backpack, it's only because this channel is all things Star Wars, all things Star Wars. So it doesn't matter if it's vintage or if it's new or if it's Disney or it's Lucas. If it's Star Wars, it's my favorite. It's all my favorite. I love Star Wars. Uh, I love it through and through. I've been a fan since the very beginning. So do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, mash all those buttons, right? Or just use the force, use the force and click them. Uh, that would really help me out a lot. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. May the force be with you.